You're watching Kill the World live from London. Welcome back. I'm Max Foster. Now, the Formula One season is shaping up as one of the most exciting in recent memory, on the track at least. But this uh, past weekend, uh, weekend's events in Bahrain has many wondering about the sports image off the track, of course. Don Riddell joins us from CNN Centre with a closer, a closer look at this. Well, we've had uh, four different winners the start of this season, so at least on the track it's been interesting. Well, it's been absolutely brilliant on the uh, track, Max. Thanks very much. Yeah, last season, Sebastian Vettel just ran away with it, didn't he? And we knew after a few races what the outcome of the season was going to be. This year, it just couldn't be any different. We've had four different drivers and four different teams taking the chequered flag. That hasn't happened since 1983. There are only 12 teams in Formula One. Already six of them have actually featured on the uh, podium. So just an incredible start to the F1 season. But that is an image that the sport really did not want. That looks like the smoke from uh, the protesters in Bahrain. You could see it uh, billowing over the track. Uh, and while this was yet another incredible race with Vettel winning in Bahrain to return to the top of the driver's standings, it really didn't get very much coverage, didn't it? The uh, news media all around the world uh, focused on the situation in Bahrain and the debate reigned and continued right throughout the weekend should F1 even have been there. Well, earlier I've spoken to uh, one of the journalists that were covering the race, uh, Channel 4 or ITN's Jonathan Miller, who wasn't accredited to be in Bahrain. He was actually detained by the police and he's now been released and has returned to Britain. This is his verdict on how F1's image has been affected by the events in the last few days. The F1 leadership uh, have, have interesting uh, things to, to consider. You know, it really called their judgment into question as to whether it was appropriate to run that race, particularly this year in Bahrain, when it was clear that things weren't over, that they weren't settled. And for all Bernie Eccleston, the ringmaster of, of uh, the uh, Formula One's determination that it was quiet and peaceful in Bahrain, it is not. And, uh, you know, I think F1's reputation in the eyes of the broader world will probably have been damaged. Uh, the message that the protesters very clearly gave to the cameras, my own cameras included, these amazing posters that were being held up by, you know, women, children as they marched down the streets under, in clouds of tear gas, said, do not race over our blood. And essentially, that is what F1 did. Do not race over our blood is powerful words, isn't it, Don? But